Street Talk is the acronym for the Acronym Street Talk blog. So if you've never used Lightroom before, I want to give you guys the quickest, easiest, most simple tutorial to get you started. Okay, step one. Take your camera and take the SD card outside of your camera. Stick this in your SD card slot or whatever slot you guys might have. The first thing you want to do is of course open up Lightroom. I already have it opened. Click import and by default everything should just be kind of set up here correctly. So what uh, Lightroom will do by default is you'll try to look for the brand new folders um, that you haven't shot before. In terms of file handling, you could keep this as a default. File renaming, you don't have to touch any of that. And by default, what Lightroom does is it'll organize all your photos to your username, pictures, and under the, the date. And I found that organizing it by the date is one of the easiest ways to actually organize your images. And one of the big tips I have too is when you're importing your photos, I recommend under this apply during import thing here on the right side, you can check that. You click develop settings and you use, you could apply a user preset to apply a certain black and white filter or a color filter to your images. Um, this of course is optional, but something that I like to do because I shoot in RAW and I like to convert my photos into black and white when I'm importing. So I'll have this usually checked. And if you guys want some free presets, you guys could go on the Googles, search Air Kim presets, and choose the first thing that shows up to the top. And when you show up to the top, just click download my free presets. It'll download to your computer for free. You just double click that. You'll archive it and it'll be available. These two files, which are my color preset as well as my gritty black and white preset. Or you can just go to ericinphotography.com slash blog slash presets. And uh, I'll show you guys how to import those in a second. So anyways, um, Lightroom's looking through all my images right now and is trying to figure out um, you know, which of my images are new and which ones aren't. So it's chosen all these so far. So all I just click is import. And while these are importing, I want to show you guys how to import the, the presets. So in order to import the presets, you just click develop, or you can press the hotkey D to go under develop. The under here, user presets, you right click that, or you can, if you have a Mac, hold control. While holding control, just click, click import, and then it's under my downloads folder, Eric and presets. You can press shift and press down, or command A to select all, and then just click import. So I already have these imported here, and you can see I've made a bunch of presets in the past, but the ones I included in that uh, collection are the best presets. So you can just kind of see, I don't even know what this is a photo of, but <laughs> you could see the, this is what the, it looks like with a, the color preset. Or you could just click monochrome 1600. And the reason I call it 1600, it's like pushing black and white film to 600. I have this optimized for the Ricoh GR version two, so it looks good to my eyes. So you can either left click the library uh, button or press G to go back to the gallery view. And one of the big tips about using Lightroom is the, the more you use hotkeys, the better because the more quickly you can navigate around uh, Lightroom. And I don't know why this is taking so long to import, but anyways, the images are all gonna import and you can look through them. Uh, for the sake of speed, I'll just look through some other random photos that I've, I've looked through. The, I want to show you guys some cool hotkeys. So this will save you guys a lot of time down the road. So Lightroom hotkeys. Okay. So the first hotkey I want to teach you guys is shift plus tab. And this will do is collapse all side windows. So you can see here in Lightroom, you could click these little arrows here and clicking these individually takes forever. If you're working on a laptop or a smaller screen, just hold shift and press tab at the same time. And you can see all the side things will collapse. Very useful. And if you want to go to full screen, hotkey for full screen is F, full screen. So if you want to make this full screen, that's good. Or if you want to go back to the gallery or grid view, just press G. So G is gallery, 
or grid view, whatever you want to remember by. And if you want to simply enlarge the photo, then the hotkey for enlarge is E. So you can see that the keys E, F, and G are very close to one another, which makes navigating through this very easily. And if you want to develop your photos, the hotkey for develop is D. So if you go under develop module, generally, I don't really leave this basic module here. All you really have to do is just drag the sliders left and right. And there's really no science behind it. You just kind of keep doing it until it looks good to you. So I'll press G again to go back to the gallery view. So let's say I'm scrolling through images. Um, and before I do this, usually I'll press Shift and Tab to make my windows uh, bigger. Another new tip that I have for you guys is if you guys press L, that's turn off the lights. So if you press L once, you kind of make a little bit more dim. Press L again, you make it really dark. And from here, I can use the trackpad to quickly scan through all my images to get a better sense of the composition. And what I used to do in the past is go through the images individually, but that just takes way too long. Now what I like to do is look at them as small thumbnails to get a better sense of the composition. So you can see all the different photos that I've shot. And whenever I see a composition that I'm interested in, so let's say you know I took a bunch of photos of this building here. So let's say one of the compositions to me is interesting, like uh, let's say this image. Essentially, I'll just click, left click the image and press the hotkey P to flag as pick. Um, or if I do this without the lights off, you can see I could just kind of quickly scroll through the images, find what looks interesting. Let's say this dog here looks interesting, I can press P. And just kind of quickly scroll through the images and just P whatever looks interesting to me. And if I want to go back to the, to see the, the side modules, once again, press shift and tab to uncollapse all the modules. And if I want to only see my flagged filters in the bottom right corner where it says filter, filters off, left click that, click flagged, and it'll show you all the photos that you flagged. Uh, I, I pre-flagged some photos a little bit earlier, so that doesn't really count. <laughs> and I can press shift tab to collapse the sites. Okay, so the import's done. So let's look at some of the new photos I shot. So this is on the 24th today, shift tab. A bunch of random photos. So what I'll generally do is press L twice to turn off the lights. And I'm really kind of going through the images to see what looks like a good composition. So this one here, even though it's upside down, looks interesting. So I left click that and I press P. Pick that one. Um, let's see, I'm scrolling through, scrolling through. Mm, let's say I like this photo with the dogs. Left click this one, press P. Mm, maybe let's say this one looks good too. Left click that one, press P. Press L again to turn off the lights. Press Shift Tab to collapse the sides. In the bottom right corner, you can either click Filters Off and click Flagged. So you could only see the ones here which are flagged. Another useful hotkey to know is if you want to rotate the image, press, uh, the, this is for Mac, uh, Command or Control if you use a PC, plus left bracket or the right bracket. And what this will do is rotate the image. So this image here is upside down. I'll hold command and I'll press the left bracket twice to flip this right side up. And if I want to see what the image looks like full screen, I press F. And I actually quite like how edgy and dynamic it is. Here you can see in the image, it's a little bit too bright in terms of the white space here. So I'll press the hotkey D to go into the, the develop mode if I want to just uh, tone down the, the highlights a bit. So I'll just drag the exposure slider to the left. And honestly, once again, there's no real science behind it. I just kind of do this until it looks good to my eyes. So once I find it, that's about pretty good. And let's say I just find an image I want to export. I'll press G to go back to the gallery view. And then I'll press E, or sorry, not X, uh, E. I'll just click the export button and I'll choose a folder. So I usually have everything synced in Dropbox. So I click pictures, I'll choose a folder, Hanoi version 28, click choose. And you could either rename it to some sort of custom settings. I have something weird set up here. Uh, why I usually recommend just you know, click custom name, and just type it whatever you want. So I'll type in Eric Kim, Photography, Hanoi, Cindy Project. Scroll down. Keep this at 80% because 
80% is the good, it's essentially the maximum size. It's the same as 10 out of 12 in Photoshop. For those of you guys who use Photoshop, don't resize. I add sharpening, click export. And that's pretty much it. And this is the simplest workflow I can explain in terms of uh, Photoshop as of now. Uh, sorry, Lightroom as of now. Hopefully I'll make some other tutorials to show you guys some uh, tips down the line. And now my image should be exporting. And here, yeah, it's still uh, exporting. But once I have the full image here, then you could upload this to Instagram or upload to Facebook, whatever it may be. Ultimately, the thing I want to teach you guys about Lightroom, you only need to know how to use about 10% of it for 90% of the functions. So I think I have a, a, a more in-depth tutorial on Lightroom. I'll include that into the link. But until next time, um, I'll include this into the show notes as well. And uh, have fun with Lightroom. It's the best piece of software out there. Peace out.